Is this a brutal attack on two lovable dogs, or is it an act of self-defense by a worker who felt threatened? That's the debate raging today after video of the guy hitting two dogs with a pipe wrench went viral. These are our family pets and they mean a lot to us and we're just glad that we didn't lose them that day. The worker appeared in the backyard to disconnect the family's gas, supposedly for non-payment. As he walks by the pool, the dogs named Flash and Shudder come up to him. That's when drama explodes. In slow motion, you can see Flash getting slammed on the side of the head. A tooth goes flying. The other dog also apparently takes a blow. The homeowner can be seen approaching her pets to check out their injuries. You can see her wiping blood off one dog. The worker has had enough and starts to head back to his truck. One of the Weimaraners approaches, but doesn't come so close this time. Once more, the worker swings his wrench. When I saw the video, it made me sick to my stomach. Homeowner Mike Wilcox showed Inside right Edition here. the injuries to Flash. So right here, he got his canine tooth knocked out that's broke off at the jaw level, and his jaw's got a slight infection. They're going to do surgery on Friday. Marina Wilcox says she and their sons, the four-year-old the Mason and 18-month-old Miles, watched everything from the window. I was terrified, I was scared, I had no idea who was here. Mike Wilcox says the gas bill hadn't been paid because of a mix-up with the automatic bill payment set up at the bank. The worker apparently ignored or didn't see the beware of dog sign posted at the gate. His boss is now accusing the family of deliberately sicking the dogs on him. That's not true because when the dogs came out after him and this guy was swinging his wrench, we had no idea who he was or that he was even in the yard yet. I mean, the dogs were under there sleeping. The guy woke him up himself and startled him. We gave the dogs no command whatsoever. The worker's boss told us he had only a split second to decide what to do and feels bad about what happened, adding he's never had any kind of previous altercations. Meantime, the local police department says the Animal Cruelty Division is actively investigating the incident.